Hey guys, I just wanted to address one thing that I've had um, with the question for F sharp 7 at 11, which is in the advanced book. And it's introduced in page, uh, in week one on page six, uh, with the F sharp major and the major two chord variation. And then it's talked about more in week four on, on page 24. Um, specifically with the F sharp 7 at 11, what I'm wanting to get across is that uh, we have this chord that is a little unique when you when you hear it so it sounds like this so it would be great if you're playing in the key of E and playing a A and B C sharp minor F sharp minor but now it's an F sharp major uh, F sharp 7 at 11 kind of gives it a, a variety, a change in the chord, and I've had questions, how am I supposed to know how to find the notes in the F sharp 7 at 11, what, I mean, it just, it just seems um, intense to me, and so what I would just suggest is that you don't need to understand exactly how I get um, the flat the 7 and the 11, because we've got the notes F sharp. A sharp, C sharp, E, and B in this chord, um, and I can tell you the 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 reason for everything. Um, but what I show you in the book is I show you how to go from uh, a foundational chord type, which is three notes, to extended chords, which are four notes. But the chords can actually go up to five or six notes, as you as you can tell, because we have six strings so you can actually have six separate notes and the chord actually determining what the chord is becomes quite difficult when you get into that many notes and, um, unless you have um, a graduate degree in music or something um, it gets a little harder to identify what those chords exactly are so I want you to use your ear a pretty good bit in that regard um, this chord specifically I do write out how um, the way that I call it, it's F sharp 7 at 11 because you flat the 7 for an E and then you take the 11th note from the F sharp which is the root note, F sharp if you go 11 notes in um, a, a major scale uh, written out from F sharp, it's the 11th note from that F sharp note so it's actually a high note, so I'm basically just saying I'm taking the high B an octave higher than the first major scale. So that's a little bit hard to comprehend for someone taking my course because um, I've just introduced the theory and unless you're a seasoned player it won't really make a whole lot of sense other than just understanding by theory that that's the way it works is that when you have a high note you can call it an 11 um, that's outside of the uh, actual eight notes of the major scale. So with the major scale again we have whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, and we go from F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, uh, D sharp, let me see, E, F sharp, and then that's the end of the, of the major scale. But when we get to F sharp, we start over, and we go F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B. So that's how we get to 11, as we say, A, um, 8 is F sharp, because that's the octave, then we go 9 was G sharp, 10 is A sharp and B is um, 11. So that's how we get the 11. It's just basically saying we're playing a high B at the very bottom of this chord and that's what we do um, with this note here. So we use that B note and we just call it an F sharp 7 at 11 because we're um, it is an F sharp 7 and then it's, we're just adding the eleventh note. But like, like I said, that's how I, call, uh, I recognize the chord. It doesn't mean that other people will um, call it that same chord, but what I want you to be thinking about is more listening to it with your ear. Once you get past the four note, identifying chords with four notes, a lot of times in contemporary music they'll just say F sharp slash E, with, which means F sharp with an E. Um, and so it's, a, it's a, for you to determine what is um, 
best to be played by your ear and I'm trying to get you to the point where you understand how to form basic chords and get the notes that you need to get in order to write your own music or whatever it might be that that you want to use music for. If you're going to go into theory and writing specific chords, uh, writing music, then you'll probably know those kind of chords. Um, but it's not necessary for um, if you're wanting to learn how to play by ear and if you're wanting to learn enough to get around be able to transpose songs, uh, use a capo and other um, other things like that. Uh, I haven't run, run into an issue where that was much of a concern um, is the name of the chord other than knowing the root note and knowing if it's a major chord and the rest of it is using your ear, knowing the pattern itself and that's an important part, knowing the pattern. And the pattern for that F sharp major is built off of this bar chord here. We just happen to be able to drop our first and second finger and get a, a, a unique chord here. So the point of the F sharp 7 at 11 is that we can find unique chords around the building blocks that we already have in the uh, major scale. And the major scale that we had was E, F sharp minor is the minor 2 chord. Remember our chord families, major 1 is E major, minor 2 is F sharp minor, then we have the 4 is A and the 5 is B. Those are major chords. So we could play that like this at E, F sharp minor, and A, and B. Well, Any time we have those chords, we can use the 1 major 2 as a unique way to change that up. So we can go 1, 2, 4, 5, like that. So we can use that in any, in any um, key. We can do D, E, G, A, instead of the other way, which is D, E minor. So pick a key, you can do that with any key. Um, we just happen to like this off chord, F sharp major, and we say, hey, well, if we take our finger and we just replace, we move it off of the B and the E and leave it on the, on the bass note, we have a kind of unique sound. And if I was to do all the detail work and figure out what that note was, it comes out to F sharp 7 at 11. But the main thing is, again, to, to be able to use your ear to find cool chords that are a little variation from what uh, might be um, common. So E F sharp major is a common major two chord variation that you might use in the key of E. Um, and there's a cool little thing with F sharp with a B and E in the bass. That's the main part to know. F sharp seven at 11 is an added benefit. So anyway, that's the thorough version. So hopefully it wasn't too much information. I just wanted to kind of clarify a little bit what the point of that was and why um, it would be beneficial for you to understand how that works and how you can create a chord that's a little bit different than just a major two chord um, in any way. Like if you want to use a major one and do a little, little bit different from major one, just experiment with that.